Yo, um, Ryan hit me about the interview, and I was kind of hesitant at first. I'm like, bro, what's the guy's story? And he started to tell me. And that's why I really wanted to have you on because you do have a story. And it's more than just the followers. It's more than just the likes and the music that you make. It's about who you are, though, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to touch on this. We could have touched on this earlier, but it happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. You live with four, you don't call them disabilities, right? Yeah, nah, just medical conditions, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But I, let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, so I was for, born with uh, four medical conditions, scoliosis, cleft palate, um, bilateral club foot and distal arthrogryposis. Mm. And so basically I have bilateral club foot. So like say this is the foot, you know, ankles, leg, this is the foot. So my foot was bent up to my ankle like that. Mm. So whenever, that's how I was born. So I put a, they put a cast on my foot. I had to wear a cast for the first few years of my life to straighten out my foot. And I had plates and screws in my ankles to correct it as well in both feet. And then I had my last surgery on that in seventh grade. And now one leg is longer than the other, but it doesn't really affect my day-to-day -day life. You know, I just walk a little different, if you will. But um, so it I, it doesn't affect me. And I don't really care how I walk. It's not going to affect how I go about my day-to-day -day life. So I'm not tripping. And then the uh, cleft palate. It, I didn't. I was born without a hard and soft palate in the top of my mouth. You know how you touch the top of your mouth with your tongue? It's like that hard gum right there. Mm. I was born without that, and then the soft palate. And um, that whenever I whenever that happened, they were I had a uh, way to fix it, so it was just easy. That got fixed immediately. But I was blessed. A lot of people have like um, the mark. Yeah, the mark right here on their lip. But uh, I'm not sure why I don't. But like I said I'm blessed. To not have that, you know what I mean? And then, um, what else did I say? Oh, distal arthrogryposis. So the biggest thing really with that is just like my, I don't have joints in my fingers. So mm -hmm. I can't bend my fingers. Like most people, I can't make a full fist. And then, um, what was the other one? Oh, scoliosis. So my kind, everybody knows what scoliosis is, but my spine is curved. Uh, pretty, pretty substantial curve. Um, but it doesn't affect my life as of right now. Mm. Um, but I think it will later on. But when you say you think it will, is this something that the doctors already said or? Uh, I, I'm not sure, but I just know. I mean, with people who have had scoliosis and just how it normally goes. How does it normally go? You just I think like by over over. I mean, it depends how how you use your back and what the strain you put on your back. But you know. As you get older, as you get into your uh, elder years of your life, you know, start getting a hunchback a little bit, having to walk with a cane, things like that. So like I said, um, I, I'll probably try my best to prevent that from happening. I don't know how that will go, but like I said, it's not going to happen for a minute. So just perform my best while I can. Yo, <clears throat> you just named four different things. Mm-hmm. With one of those things, it could be hard to just function in everyday life, right, um, um, amongst people. Because people are ignorant. People are, like, they're mean, right? Mm -hmm. So you having four, how was that growing up? Like, was what? when did you, uh, I guess, understand understood, understand that you had um, medical conditions? Um, It was, like, ninth, 10th grade high school where people started, like, making fun of the way I walked. Or, um, you know, the fingers thing never was like a problem. They maybe make fun of me for not being able to fight or whatever. But so just just getting made fun of in that aspect is, I guess, whenever I started to realize it because people started to point it out in public a little bit. But um, so never it kind of made me feel some type of way, you know, um, maybe a, a little depressed uh, in my high school years um, from that. But. Now, just realize what's more important and focusing up on my career and what I want for my life. And don't let other people stop me from doing that or judge judge who I'm, I am. I'm curious, like, how did that make the relationship with your parents, though? Because a lot of times as kids, we don't really understand and we blame. We want to look for someone or something to blame it on. And a lot of times our parents get that blame. Like, how was the relationship with your parents? Um, great. I feel like. I never, never had any blame on them or anything like that because, like I said, I mean, at the end of the day, there's nothing I could do about it. 
there's nothing they could do about it. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things that happens to every few people, and if it does, you can choose how you how you go through life with it. If you want to be depressed or blame people about it through your whole life, do what you want to do. But um, I'm not that type of person. I'll mm. focus on what I need to still be a normal human being. But I feel like it has to be some type of, like, you have to realize that. Like, you have to come to a point where you understand that and then start living your life like that. When was that for you? Um, honestly, I, I, I would say I never really felt that type of way about it. You know what I mean? I feel like it was just, I guess, the type of person I am. Mm. I just never gave too much of a um, care. Never? Yeah, because yeah. I guess I was just, just especially, like, just growing up with it my whole life, you know, being a little different my whole life, it's just like you kind of adapt to it. Mm. And you get to the point where... You've heard all the comments. You heard all this. You heard all that. So it's like, I don't care. Yo, you know, it's Built tough skin, I guess. Nah, facts. And indeed, like, and, and you are blessed, extremely blessed. And it's crazy because, like, it shows how much people who don't, who aren't born with these conditions or medical conditions take for advantage, like, for granted. Some mm -hmm. people probably take for granted that they can't ball their, their fists up. Mm -hmm. They take for granted that they can walk straight, right? Yeah. Like, and I feel like, you are walking a testimony to like that, bro, no matter what happens, that you can be successful. Exactly. That's what I, that's kind of like what I'm trying to um, show these, I guess, people growing up and kind of dealing with the same thing is like, yeah, exactly. No, like, no matter what you go through, what people say to you, what people say about you, like, focus on yourself, mm. know what's most important and work towards that. Mm. What's, Become what's, better than the people who don't like you or hate on you for no reason. Now, I know you wasn't a person that dwelled on it, right? Yeah. But if it was one thing that bothers you the most for somebody that it might be bothering them as well, what was it that, that bothered you the most? Um, Honestly, the way I walk, because I feel like that's something, like, everybody sees, if mm. you will. You know what I mean? Like, you know, just walking in public, everybody walks for the most part. So it's like walking to the grocery store. You know, you walk on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's like everybody can see that. And you're out in public walking, everybody can see that. So that was probably the one I actually got, like I said, because my one foot's longer than my other one. So I got a little, they're like little sole things. Mm -hmm. And they add, you put them in your shoe and they add like a little inch or whatever. So I put that in my, my right shoe to make it level out a little bit. Mm. So, so that's something that still probably like bother you to this day. Mm, I would say, I would say nowadays, not really, because I feel like it adds just to my uniqueness. You know what I mean? It makes me, separates me from the rest a little bit. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, what well, artists you see walking with a wobble looking, you know what I mean? Mm. So, I feel like it just makes me a little different. That All of that, though, right? What we just talked about. Mm. Does it make the success and what you're doing feel that much more special? It has to. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think it definitely does because it's just showing that exactly what I'm trying to prove these people that you can't do anything mm. and it just, I'm a walking testimony, like you said. That's a fact. What about, it's funny because like you had to have like, like we all got naysayers and haters, right? Mm -hmm. But for you it's different because like people really probably would make fun of you and talk about you. Are you starting to, are you seeing are you starting to see some of them people, who, the same people that made fun of you and said you what you couldn't do and laughed at you, kind of like spin the bend when they see you being successful? A hundred percent, especially in like, um, especially people from high school hit me back, you know yeah. what I mean, trying to talk to me, or like, um, like even people just straight up say it. Like in my comments, I see some every now and then. They're like, "Yeah, I used to. I can't lie, bro. I used to hate on you, but now I'm a fan." Like mm. they just straight up say it in the comments. So. I feel like definitely.